What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and today we came out to the beautiful Lake Jennings campground here in San Diego to show you this beautiful Explorer van that we just got done building. There is so much that went into this build. This thing is awesome. I can't wait to show you all the killer stuff because if you have an Explorer van, you're going to want to do this. Like, duh. So this is awesome and I'm really excited to show you and talk to you about what we did to this van and what it is so different about this is this is going to be a 2021 Chevy Express 3500 with the 6.6 gas. Like that is awesome because this is the first one of these that we have done this to and what am I talking about? Well, we have completely converted this from a two wheel drive van into a four wheel drive van. So that is going to be really neat. We also did the springs in the back, a ton of stuff to show you. So let's actually show you the parts instead of just talking about them, who cares? I mean, I don't know though, I kind of, I, like what do you guys think? Uh, lake or van, lake or van? All right, we'll go show you the van. All right, so one thing I just can't get enough of on these Chevy Express vans, you know, I love my method wheels. I love these things just make the van look really, really nice. So this is a 17 inch wheel. This is the Con 6 wheel, and this is gonna be in black. Uh, it's gonna be eight and a half inches wide. This is gonna be a zero offset wheel with four and three quarters backspace. So whether you're lifting, looking to lift your two wheel drive van or convert your van to four wheel drive, that's what's nice. This wheel will work for either. And we also have a lift kit in order to allow you to fit this size tire on it, whether you want two wheel drive or four wheel drive. Now on this particular van, we did go to four wheel drive and this does have what is called our torsion bar conversion. So this is a conversion similar to like what you would see from some of the other manufacturers where it's going to use truck components in order to convert it to four wheel drive. However, it does come with a long list of Weld Tech fabricated parts, such as the drop cross member, the transmission cross member, and a whole bunch more that goes into converting this to four wheel drive. I mean, this is beautiful. Another thing that we do on these is we do put our Fox shock on the front of this. We also do some really nice sway bar links as well to allow you to get that full articulation without anything binding up. I mean, overall, this kit is really nice. I mean, I love, I really just wish I could get to go use it. I mean, especially on a new van with all that power. I mean, this is awesome. This is what we did to the front. Let's take a look at the back. So whether you have an Explorer van or a normal passenger van, we're gonna wanna make sure that your passengers, your kids, your guests, all have a really nice ride. Of course, with the Explorer van conversion, you do get the really luxurious seating and that awesome bench that's gonna fold down to a bed. That is going to be a plus. In order to make this vehicle ride so nice, let's take a look down below at the new suspension. So again, you see we have this awesome set of tires in the rear. You're still gonna have a lot of clearance in the front. You don't need to trim your wheel well if you have an Explorer van conversion that has the extra skirting on there, which is going to be nice. So what we did do is we did put a set of our progressive leaf springs in the rear. We aren't running a block and the leaf spring is going to give us all of our lift as well as that nice ride. In order to make the ride even better, we did add a set of Fox shocks to the back of this to make it just pure awesomeness. One other thing that we did do to this as well, because we are running the larger tires on here and when we do a four wheel drive conversion, we can order your front differential with a different gear set in it. So instead of running the 355s that typically come in the rear diffs on the Chevy Express vans, we opted to go to a 410 gear in the rear as well as the front, which is always going to be really, really nice if you're going to be towing. Um, it just you know really offsets the difference from the tire that you put on there. So that is awesome. I mean, really, this is gonna be pretty simple. I mean, I know you guys wanna see the inside because the inside of this thing is just plain sexy. Dude, this blue is just, you don't, I've never ever seen this color. Again, guys, it's just sexy. Maybe I'm just crazy, but you never know. Yeah, I'm crazy. So 
Guys, I love the Chevy vans and I love what Explorer does to them. I think that everything they do on these door panels, including these little cup holders, just makes this thing look really nice. To me, I'm gonna call this the Cadillac of vans. I think that the interior is just that nice. Now, as you notice when I opened up this door, it does stop right there. And as frustrating that is that is, know that this door will open up farther. And if you've never seen this little tips and tricks, let me show you how to open up your door all the way. All right, so in order to open up this door all the way, I'm gonna have to close the door um, and have the door only open about 25%. And now I'm gonna just hold this little lever as I go to open it. And now you can see that door opens up really nicely. Now what's even better is I can also do that on the back doors. So now it's giving me that really nice, it's a little windy here, but you can see how big that opens up versus just coming out 90 degrees. Like, ah, that sucks, I want my doors to be bigger. But that leads us to the beautiful inside of this killer conversion. I just wanna go, I wanna go relax in the back. I'm gonna, I'll meet you in the back, all right? How about that? Well, as I come to the back of this van, there's so many features that are in this that I really, really like. Um, you know, for some of you, it may be that there is a vacuum back here in the back of your van. I mean, if you have kids, you know how useful that is going to come in. My favorite thing though, it's gonna be this power bed. So this is what I'm talking about. I love how simple it is to put this down and now I have a sleeping area in the back. Not only that, really if I wanna load up gear and things of that nature, I'm gonna have a big flat area to do that. And as I come back here and stand, I'm going to realize there is no lack of one thing in this van and that is going to be the sheer amount of cup holders back here, which is going to be really, really nice. There's also USB ports in the back, and that's great because you know that if you have kids, they're gonna wanna be tuned into those electronics. But what they might like even better is sticking their head out the sunroof, you know, old school style. So as we come up to the cockpit of our Chevy Express van, you're going to see down located next to the driver's side seat is going to be the mechanical lever in order to shift this into four-wheel drive. We do this instead of an electronic four-wheel drive. What's really nice about this is simply, right now it's in park, but you can shift on the fly into four high. That's just gonna be a pull back. And when it goes in, you're going to know that by an indicator light coming on in your dash saying green, you are good to go, you are in four high. Now, if you're going to want to shift it into four low, I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it into neutral now, and now I'm ready to go into four low. And you can see by doing that, both indicator lights come on, indicating that I am in four low. In order to put it back into drive or too high, I'm gonna put it back into neutral and go ahead and shift back. So it's pretty straightforward and simple, really nice. It's also indicated on your shift knob as well that you have low and high gear for your four wheel drive, keeping it simple, it's just fun. Have fun with your Chevy Express van. All right, and one thing you probably didn't know that the Explorer van came with is a front seat. You know, when your kids get really annoying and you just say, I'm gonna strap you to the front bumper. Not really, I'm kidding, okay guys, but this would be the seat. My kids might actually say that they want to ride up here. Anyways, this makes it nice when you gotta work on your engine compartment. But uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video. I'm definitely enjoying it because the scenery is just magnificent here at Lake Jennings. That's all I have for you. I hope you found this informative, and if you did, smash that subscribe button, come back. I have a lot more vans to show you guys. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you got questions, leave them down below. I'll try to put links to all the products that we use as well in the description. That's it. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. I'm going to the lake.